Oh my goodness, can you believe that a package this small has an iPad in it? You probably can, yeah, you probably don't have a problem believing that because the iPad mini was a thing long before the most recent Apple event, during which Apple announced the iPhone 13, the iPhone 13 Pros, another little iPad, 329, whatever, it's eighth, ninth gen of the, of the vanilla original iPad. But the most important thing was the iPad mini. And that is a subjective judgment. I'm saying that this was the most important thing, but I will back it up. But first off, this is a fun little writing doohickey, right? I, like at first I thought it, it spelled the same thing. If you flip it upside down, it kind of has that look, but it does not. Real quick, the reason why this was the most exciting announcement during the event was because it's got USB frickin' C on it. And Apple, for whatever reason, is holding on to this lightning port, this USB 2.0 speeds capable lightning port. But for some reason, they put the USB-C port on the iPads, they put it on the MacBooks, and they just did not, they're refusing to put it on the iPhones, which is why this is exciting, because look at it, it's basically a big phone. First of all, it's got a fun dbrand skin on it. Thanks, dbrand. Whoa, what do we got here? These, these little guys, they're like, uh, they're like ghosts. This looks like a black and white Dante's, Dante's version of hell, but for Transformers. The really cool thing about this iPad is that they've done the same thing to it uh, that they did to the iPad Air. So like, you know, Apple announced the iPad Pro many years ago. I forget what year they first did it, but it looked like a regular iPad. And then at some point they did this squared off design thing for the iPad Pros. And then, did that same thing to the iPad Air and the most recent, I think it's the iPad fourth, fourth gen iPad Air, now looks like this except bigger. And they haven't updated the iPad mini. I think they did a, a processor refresh, but they didn't do anything to the design for like five years. I might be wrong on that, Google it. But now this is why I actually am a big fan, as, as, as much as I make fun of Apple, I'm actually a pretty big fan of what they're doing with their iPads, kind of taking what was essentially just like a mobile only device and giving it the capabilities of a of a you know more advanced device like more like a desktop operating system with iPad OS and all that stuff. Okay, so to give a little bit more context, one of the other reasons why I'm really excited for this this iPad mini is because unlike other iPads, minis that have or or the vanilla iPads, the base level iPads that have gotten like the much weaker processor, this one comes with the same A15 Bionic chip that is in the iPhone 13s and 13 Pros and it actually has the same 5 core GPU as the iPhone 13 Pros instead of the 4 core GPU that is in the iPhone 13. However, uh, some people have done some testing since uh, they got their hands on the iPad minis and they've discovered that the clock speed of I believe the GPU is a little bit lower than the iPhone, iPhone 13 Pros, so you're not gonna get the exact same performance as an iPhone 13 Pro, but it's gonna be pretty close, okay? Maybe I'll just use this as a phone, hello? The downside of trying to use this thing as a, as a phone is that it does have a 5G version, so it starts at 499 for the Wi-Fi 6 only version. You can get a 5G version, which means you have internet access wherever you are, just like a phone, except you can't do phone calls. Uh, and this has been a thing with iPads since they started adding 5G uh, connectivity to it. However, you could you just use internet calls, just use WhatsApp, FaceTime, all of these things, you know? Also, I didn't even look what's in the box. We got a USB, that beautiful, beautiful USB-C cord. And a USB-C, uh, you know, charging brick. Nine volt at 2.22 amps. Yeah, that's about 20 watts. Andy was saying that if you're not using a larger iPad for drawing, it's kind of annoying to watch videos on. Um, speaking of drawing, that's another thing that this iPad is capable of doing that the previous one was not, or the, the previous iPad mini was not, is working with the second gen Apple Pencil that charges with this mag magnetic connector. It's the same thing. It's like, it's almost the length of the iPad itself. Welcome to Apple Pencil. Should try out like the cameras and stuff probably, eh, Brandon? Yeah. But before we do that, I got I got to tell you about our sponsor. Big thanks to Dbrand, obviously, for sponsoring this video. That's why there's a Dbrand skin on here. Did you put the pieces together? Get some Dbrands. Ah, it was some out of you. Ah, get some. Put the skin on. <laughs> Dbrand. They make some sick looking skins, buddy. And if you wanna get the best scores in Fortnite, then you're gonna put that this stuff on your devices. 
or else you're out of the App Store. Dbrand's got skins for phones. They got skins for tablets, laptops. I think they're working on cars. May well, maybe even people. So check out Dbrand at the link below. Okay, yeah, so I've barely talked about the actual specs of this thing. So this is an 8.3 inch display, which as I said, is a little larger than most phones. But like, as you can see, well, with the pencil there, it's kind of annoying to grip because then it just kind of does that. But you know, without the pencil there, it's like, you know, it's like a phone. Can it fit in my pocket? <sighs> oh, oh my gosh, it actually does. I did not like, <laughs> I would, did not expect that to work. 8.3 inch display. It's got a P3 wide color gamut. Look at that P3 wide color gamut. I see so many colors. It's also got a true tone display as is like, that's the kind of standard standard uh, procedure for these iPads. 500 peak nits of brightness. <whistles> it's very bright on, 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 the, on the top down camera, but like in person, like I would want it just this bright normally indoors. I feel like if I was outside, I'd be like, maybe that's not so great for uh, its phone use case. You want a phone to have like decent brightness uh, so you can use it outdoors. And that's, I mean, okay, so that's, I'm discovering some things that are gonna make it a little more difficult to use as a phone. That's fine, that's to be expected. Okay, one thing that I glossed over on the exterior design, I mean, it's got those flat edges I was talking about, but it also has stereo speakers in landscape and the Touch ID. So, you know, on their cheaper iPads, the non-iPad Pros, those ones have Face ID. And on the iPad Air, this really is kind of like a, a, a mini iPad Air, because uh, that also has the Touch ID and the power button there. That's pretty good sound for a tiny little iPad. What the heck? However, it's ruined by the fact that I just discovered that the volume rockers are on the top of the device like this. What, the, what is that? Here's the, here's, the, here's the iPad. The front camera's right here, okay? Power button on the top. Volume rocker on the other side of the top of the device and nothing on the sides here. That's so weird. Apple is making some weird design decisions. Okay, some of the specs I haven't really gotten to yet are the both cameras. So this uh, camera on the front here is an ultra wide now, which it wasn't before. Boom, I got the whole room and the neighbors. So the, we got the 12 megapixel ultra wide on this tablet now. And on the rear as well, it's an also a upgraded 12 megapixel uh, camera with true tone flash. Or maybe that is the front. Okay, one of the cameras can do true tone flash. It's probably this one. And focus pixels. Okay, center stage, here we go. Oh, this is one of the new things in iOS 15, this create link. Or actually, could you do that before? <laughs> I'm not, I don't use iOS normally, but I know that you will now be able to create links to send to Android users uh, so they can join your FaceTime call as well. So that's pretty cool. I don't, I'm not sure if that's rolled out yet, but you can create links apparently and uh, have people join them that way. FaceTime. Hey, hey Horst. I'm using my iPad mini as a phone. I was just hanging outside and... This doesn't have the speakers, this doesn't have like an earpiece, so you can't use it no, like this. Not. You're just getting but a like, good shot of my ear right now. But like, everyone has AirPods now, right? Why? Although, I'm holding it here and I, you, yeah. like, I can hear you way better because it's got stereo speakers. Well, I mean, I, it's not very nice to look at someone's ear in a phone. Wow, and I guess that proves once and for all that you can use the iPad mini as a phone. You probably can't. Um, realistically, you might be able to, but um, you're gonna depend on services like FaceTime and WhatsApp or whatever, uh, alternative calling apps. So if you don't wanna use this thing as a phone, it starts at 499 US, which is not so bad for like a brand new tablet with a cutting edge chip. 50% faster than any other mobile device ever or something, uh, according to Apple's made up numbers that they don't tell anybody what they're actually referring to. But it's 499 for the Wi-Fi only version, uh, 649 for the 5G version. That's only with the 64 gigs of storage though. And it, you know, the, the other thing is that most phones these days, their people are getting more than 64 gigs of storage. So then that means that Wi-Fi only starts at 649 and the 5G 256 gig version is $800. So that's still cheaper than an iPhone 13 Pro. But you know, it's uh, you're, you're gonna you're gonna there's gonna be some trade-offs. All in all, I feel like I am still excited by this thing, even though you know I found out some 
deeply, deeply disappointing facts like the position of the volume rocker. I will be recovering from that for some time. It's a supplementary device, but I mean like, and to be to be completely honest, I've always been kind of confused by the existence of the iPad mini. Like it seems like something that rich people would buy when they don't have enough, you know, yeah. things to spend money on. But they think they don't have enough stuff, so they just like, you know, it, it might as well get the, the baby iPad. But this one, because it comes with the A15 Bionic, and because it has 5G, I think LTT's doing a video about it, or a MAC address, or someone's doing videos about trying to use this thing as a phone, because like, that's why it's exciting to me. If it's not a phone, then it's just a tiny iPad. Anyways, that was a short circuit about the iPad mini. Guess what? There's gonna be lots more about products that aren't the iPad mini. And you know what? I think you should subscribe for those. I feel like they're gonna be good.